Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we went through one of the examples that we have for single degree of freedom systems, uh, considering the damping ratio in free vibration. In this video, I'm going to go to the other example that we analytically solve it. And now we are going to check how it looks like in ANSYS. Here is the example that we had. We had the modal analyzers. And we can check the solution that we had earlier. And the results are quite close. The differences are mainly because of the uh, method of the solution. Here the method is completely numerical. And in our calculation it's completely analytical. Also other factors are affecting. For example, if we come back to the second... Uh, frequency here we can see that the frequency is a little bit different from what we found it was uh, 8 point something here it is 7.85 the reason can be because of the uh, distributed load of the beam it might not affect that much also the method of solution now if you remember we set all the settings to be in a way that we do not have any damping here we can see that there is no damping and the system is not uh, dissipating the energy but if we come back to here and we can just adjust the damping ratio to 0 0.05 and solve it again to see how it looks like it should be pretty the same uh, it should start to decay we can have a look on what we had in hand calculation here is the solution without damping and the red trace looks to be dissipating the energy considering 5% damping ratio. Now here we have the solution. Uh, so the amplitude is something between 0 0.77 to 7.26, which is 6.5 millimeter. We have uh, almost 6 millimeter in our calculation from 0 to 6 millimeter. It's quite um, uh, close to what we have. Also in two seconds, it's almost decayed completely. Let's check here. In two seconds, it's almost decayed. How many peaks do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 almost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, and then it's starting to be uh, a straight line, almost a straight line. That's how we need to consider the damping ratio some some tips in here for example at the moment it's using modal and you do not have the option to add the velocity if you want to change it then you need to set it to be no and then here you can set the velocity it should be completely one uh, element here you can see that the body is taken for example, I let's go through just one node. Here you can see that it is not changed because the velocity should be applied to a body, not to a node. And then you can adjust it to, let's say, for example, if in Y direction we have 200 millimeter per second, then when you come to the analyzer setting, you will see that the damping is just uh, determined by the stiffness coefficient defined by direct input or with damping vs frequency which we went through to the same concept in the other video let's delete this one and finalize this video and here is the motion it starts to decay the value and we can see that it starts to stay in the uh, 
a static deformation where the load is applied. That was a very short video since we had the model and we had the same question earlier in the other video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.